hard. That must have been really exciting knowing you're going to get your starts on the PGA Tour. What was that first event like out there on tour? So it was the Hawaiian Open. I fly over there. Um, and I remember I had tears in my eyes driving down the driveway. Once we got through the gate, I'm like, I cannot believe I get to go play a PGA Tour event. I walk in there and I am basically got my head buried. Because this is what I remember about the first event. It's not so much like, how am I going to do? How am I going to perform? It was more like, who am I going to see? Yeah. So I'm kind of looking at my shoelaces more than I am, like chin up, like Randy told me for a long time. Yeah. You know, walk like this. Don't let anybody know how you're playing, that kind of thing. That, when I got out of the car, I got the emotions. I'm like, okay, where do I go? I kind of just snuck into the locker room and put my cleats on and registered. So at the Hawaiian Open, the driving range was really tight. This is what I remember about my first day there. You know, I just wanted to get out on the golf course with my caddy by myself. Uh -huh. I just wanted to hit some shots just and just kind of get, com yeah. get comfortable because I was super nervous. So I get out on the driving range. And again, I'm not looking up. I'm scared to, you know, there's going to be some, you know, iconic figure that I've been watching on TV and it's going to make me all nervous and weird. So I, I kind of get up there and I start hitting some balls and somebody like right in front of me is, because it kind of narrows, like triangular down there. And this guy is just hitting these drivers that are just like, right. I see him bouncing. Every one. <laughs> Every time he hits, I see that ball like going right into that corner. I'm like, I am not that good. <laughs> He turns around at some point, it's Payne Stewart of all people. Oh, wow. Yeah, because I'm used to the knickers and, and his hat. He's yeah. wearing like a, a baseball cap and he's got khaki pants on. So yeah. he, he was unrecognizable. <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not looking at the swing. I would have recognized the swing, but that was pretty cool. And then Payne and I had a nice relationship to that going forward. But that's, that's my first recollection of playing a PGA Tour event. So how was that first year out there uh, in general? Um, it was a learning, you know, it's a learning. I, I performed fine. I won my, I, 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 I didn't win. I uh, made my first seven cuts, wow. which was really important. I mean, I think just getting four rounds, four rounds, four rounds. So I was, I was starting to be part of the group because if you're not making cuts, now remember, there's 144 players approximately. Yeah. And then they're and going to 70 and ties. Right. So you're kind of like, if you're playing those first seven tournaments, which a lot of people did back then, you're kind of one of the guys that's playing on the weekend. So they're, they're kind of like going, hey, you're kind of part of us now. Yeah. So I was being accepted by, you know, some of these figures that had been playing the PGA Tour for a long time. So I remember, you know, it was kind of seamless. It was it, pretty effortless. Uh, the Ben Hogan Tour really prepared me well for all that, though. Because uh -huh. if I played it, had a good round or something, I had to go in the press room, I knew how to, how to go about it, those yeah. kind of things. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it was... It was exciting. Uh, the first year wasn't anything that I can remember. Like, I played solid, but nothing spectacular. I played poorly at the end. Um, but for the most part, I kept my card. Yeah. Yeah. So was it your second year that you got your first win out there? 1994. Uh-huh. Yep, yep. And where was that? That was in um, Jackson, Mississippi. Yeah. Deposit guarantee. It was a rain-shortened thing. Um, but I'm still proud of it because that led me to being able to participate in the Masters. Yeah. I played well in 94, though. I mean, there's another story that um, we'll have to tell about me and John Daly playing at the Bell South Classic at Atlanta Country Club. Which yeah, there's was, some legendary stories from that, yeah, that's that last a, hole there. Yeah, that, that catapulted me to another level, too. Or it was just another tier in the steps towards, you know, maybe being, you know, a, a, a player that, was recognizable out here for many, many years. Yeah. Talk about your first Masters. I know that um, there's a lot of stories we can get from that experience there. And um, that's, I think, where a lot of people know your name and know that story about the 95 Masters.